Hello, hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking on Nico Motors takes on Tesla as a new competitor in the EV field slash hydro. Alright, so what is Tes what is Nikola Motors? Let's get into it real quick. Real quick thing for you guys, I'm not a financial advisor. These videos are for entertainment and inspiration and educational purposes only. Investing of any kind involves risk. I'm going to share my opinion with you. With no guarantee of gains or losses on investments, please consult an appropriate advisor on your own research before making any decisions on anything. I'm not responsible or liable for any actions you take. So, people, do your due diligence, do your research. Let's get into it. So, Nikola Motor Company is an American hybrid truck company design company based in Phoenix, Arizona, America, mate, where it also has its research and development operations, all right? So, the CEO is Trevor Milton. So it's a quote from him. We are on a roll. We couldn't ask for a better new zero emissions platform. And Nikola is a leader for heavy duty vehicles. We believe we have a differentiated business model built on economics, not government subsidies. We now need to double down and speed up the timeline and get to market. We couldn't be happier to have Steve Crispy join our board. So basically, Trip Melter wants to speed up. Nikola to get to market faster because of Tesla's truck, right? So they're competing with Tesla, Nikola Tesla, right? Look at the names are damn near the same. The trucks look damn near the same. So I'm just like, oh, what the fudge? But he has Tesla's has a track record. Nikola Nikola Motors is brand new. They need infrastructure. They need lots of stuff to be built for them trucks to be getting on the road. You know. So let's get let's real quick. Let's look at. Who is Steve Grisky? Steve Grisky is the CEO and managing partner of Vect, of Vectu IQ Acquisition Corp. This guy has more than 30 years experience working with senior corporate and board executives, labor leaders, OME leaders, suppliers and dealers, and national local policy makers. So, and, but he's also been on the board for uh, General, General Motors. So, so this guy is very experienced in the well supply versus of, like the supply chain of the auto industry in its whole entirety. <clears throat> so. The company is developing two different electric tractor trailer trucks, one powered by hydrogen fuel cells and the other by batteries using proprietary new battery technology developed by the company. So hydrogen and battery. Hydrogen, you need infrastructure. Battery, you need technology and infrastructure. So these two things cost tons of money, mass investment. So we'll see. Now let's get more into it real quick. So Nikola's main products, as you see, the Nikola 1, the Nikola two nicola tree and the nicola badger the truck looks pretty cool you know <clears throat> but these look nice too i like them it's almost the same as tesla you know but in the, the branding is different you know it's like buying a a belt and just slapping on a logo on it and it, it's in a branded belt so basically the same thing all right getting right into it more right so very important day june 2nd which is coming around like a couple weeks vector iq nicola much to been merger with Electric heavy truck maker Nikola Motor. So the shareholders are planning to take a vote. So if they vote yes to merge, then bam. Then this will happen. The combined company will take on the Nikola name and its ticker VTIQ symbol will change to NKLA. And Vector IQ is a just a shell company, a holding company. They don't really produce anything. They're just there listed on stock exchange as a fast track to get listed. You don't have to do a pre-IPO, you just go straight into the stock market once you merge a company or buy out a company, and that's that, all right? So the merger will help ramp up production in its battery electric truck next year and fuel cell electric truck in 2023. So the merger will be much more anticipated because Nikola Motors needs money. They need an infusion of cash dough to produce and build their infrastructure out, which is gonna cost billions of dollars they may show me off they may shut me down but i'm saying it, it is a mission by itself to get this done all right so let's look at the stock real quick you guys i want to show you guys real quick the stock so the ticker is a uh, vect iq oh sorry uh the uh the stock is uh the ticker is vtiq i totally did not change that but yeah let's get into it so you guys as you guys can see so this is stock right here. <clears throat> so vector acquisition. So the ticker is VTIQ. Right now it's trading for 22. So around, if we look at this, around March, September 2018, 2019, it was around 10 bucks, under 10 bucks. And once they, once word get out, there's possible mergers with Nikola Motors, 
the stock jumped by fourteen dollars, like right here at thirteen twenty-five, and from there on, it has it just been going up to twenty. It went up to thirty at one point, but now it's back down. It's down like nine percent. So let's look this real quick, nine percent. But also too, if you look at this, they don't produce anything. This is just a shell company. Just to, it's a listed on the stock exchange it's a shell company. For basically, if you want to list your own company, you can merge or buy out or whatever it may be for one of these. And Nikola Motors is a company. Like I researched, looked into Nick Milton. He had like two companies, but they were not so massive. And he's listed as a billionaire because of he holds I think about eight million shares. So he's listed as a billionaire because he has tons of shares of Nikola Motors. So. But there's not a whole lot on this guy, so but I'm not sure if Nikola is just like a like a fad or it could be that. But I'm just sitting on the sidelines and watching it and see what happens with the stock. I'm not buying it. I'm not invested in this stock. I just want to see on the sidelines, see where it goes because it may be another Neo stock where the Neo was very much inspired from Neo from China, and then you have some other electric companies based out of China as well. Because I'm in China and I see Neo cars in China, but not in the United States. The United States, I see Tesla. In Norway, I see Tesla. Sweden, I see Tesla. Nikola, I have not seen in China. So, like, yeah, I'm, I'm iffy on this one because there's not that much research on, on Tim Melton. Like, he created a website, e commerce, and it shut down. He created something else, it shut down. It's like he has two for, he's two for one, maybe three for oh. But I have no idea, but we'll see. I'm just one, I'm just watching and see how it goes. But, yeah. And, well, this is the merge, of course, on June 2nd for you guys. So let's get back to it real quick. So some key points for you guys. Nikola has more than 14,000 pre-orders representing more than 10 billion potential revenue. So they have 14,000, which is great, but I'm not sure if it was actually 14,000 because if you look at the website and try to reserve a truck, they charge $0. Like Tesla charges about $100 to reserve, right? They have zero, 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 zero from what I see. And then key point number two, build out a hydrogen station infrastructure. And so this is going to be expensive. This is not cheap. This is damn near expensive. And then if they do list and the merger goes through, the company will be worth $3.3 billion on the stock exchange. And I made a miss error here. Company, this was your company. Damn. Anyways, yeah, my English is like going to the shits in China. But <clears throat> so they'll be estimated $3.3 billion if, well, they will merge because it's going to be for sure, for sure, for sure thing. And two, Nikola has partners. So they're not developing all their technology in-house. They're outsourcing this, like, like Bosch. They're also switching batteries and other developments. CNH Industries, which invested in Nikola Motors and took an equity stake. They have their own technology that's really made. It's based out of the European. So they already have the manufacturing engineering base with an existing network to help Nikola like, pretty much like jump forward, not backwards not stall but move forward they also have other partners too the company is taking equity in the company before it's debuted on nasdaq so like nikola is outsourcing components here components here components here components here just to get nikola motors to be in competitive give them a competitive edge against tesla's truck right so that's why they want to ramp up production they want to get out there they want to be more than it was hey this is uh this is nikola motors this is us so we'll see how it goes but like they're outsourcing pretty much a lot of their tech, their trucks, their network. So, you know, it just, you have to look into, if you're going to invest in something, you have to do your research, get into it and see what they're worth. Like, honestly. And you guys, if you guys do want two free stocks, uh, we will send them a link with Weeboyo. When you sign up, you get one free stock. When you deposit 100 bucks, you get another free stock. So two free stocks, that's extra money in your pocket. And if you don't sign up with Weeble, you can also just sign up with the Robinhood app. You get a free stock just by signing up. You know, there's no catch, none of that. You get free stock. So if you sign up with both those apps, you get three app, three stocks for free, which is nice. That's extra fucking your money. And if you decide not to invest in the future, but hey, it's, you have the stocks there waiting for you to say, hey, puppy, give me some money. But anyways, and you guys, so I don't know, what are your thoughts on Nikola taking on Tesla or just another another Neo or a flop? Like, honestly, I, I'm just watching on the sidelines to see how, what will happen with this. But, you know, there's no guarantees that they'll take on Tesla because Tesla is a beast. They're on beast mode. Nikola just coming right in. So they know 
Nikola knows that it needs to ramp up production immediately and put out the first truck before Tesla puts out. If Tesla puts out this first truck, then Nikola's this, this will be like shock and all, shock and all. All right. So guys, thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe. Comment below. I appreciate you guys. And bye from China. I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone. Take care. All right.